Advantage map, you can see many people are once again adapting to their nightly routines. Our Bella Caracta is in Carter Lake, where many still don't have power. Bella, how are residents there dealing with the heat in these outages? Without power, residents of Carter Lake sought refuge at this community center. Now, normally you would need a membership to, op to get in, but the community center opened its doors as we've seen time and time again. People will open their hearts and doors in time of need. Small communities, like when storms or chaos happens, they come together and it, it's really heart, heartfelt to see. Four kids and a dog. Figuring it out as we go, basically. Monet and Gallas and her family flocked to the Carter Lake Community Center. Inside, they passed the time. While outside, crews work just down the street to restore power. The community center is adapting as well. They're running off a generator, offering air conditioning, and charging outlets for those in need. Usually, it's open to members only, like Deborah Kessler's husband. My husband comes every day. I don't come that often, but there's no power at home, no air conditioning. But they open their doors to all. Now I got uh, no air, no electricity. It's cool enough, but there ain't nothing to watch on TV or nothing. <laughs> Until power comes back on, these residents hope the community center keeps its doors open and AC on. Yeah, the community center is sharing that they're open via social media and inside they tell me they plan to help those in need tomorrow too from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Reporting live in Carter Lake, Bella Caracta, 6 News.